In this video I'll show you how to flash the firmware of the GRX8 receiver uh, using the, whatever it is, flashing port on the Tyrannus X Lite radio. You can also use the internal radio frequency module pins on other Tyrannuses, but to do that you'll have to work out which pins to use and you're going to have to swap a couple of these wires. They're not the correct polarity, so I'm not going to show you how to do that because I don't really know myself. I can just use this port here on the Tyrannus X Lite. Um, so what we do is plug it in. Uh, black wire to the right. Now what we're going to need, need to do first is grab the SD card and we need to copy the firmware uh, download from the FRSky website and onto the SD card and I'll show you how to do that now. So first of all we go to the FRSky website Look for the downloads page for the uh, whichever re receiver you're working on. In this case, it's the GRX8 receiver. Download the uh, firmware file, the latest firmware file, and the one I'm using is the FCC version of uh, 25th of October 2018. So download and unzip that file, and then copy the well, whichever one you want, the FCC for US and the uh, LBT or Listen Before Talk for Europe, I think it is. Whichever one's relevant for your area, I'm going to use the FCC version. So we copy that into the firmware folder on the SD card. And with your receiver plugged in, we push to the left to bring up the uh, radio setup screens go to the right to show the SD card down to firmware and push there you'll see the file it's the GRX8 FCC 181025.frk firmware file push on that, push and hold on that actually and flash S port push and hold again and it starts writing and this takes about a minute or so, so you just let it right away and you'll see you get sort of flashing lights on the receiver while it's happening and of course you have to make sure you have enough power in your transmitter to enable it to do the uh, writing for a minute or so, whatever it is still getting flashing lights there, still get the progress bar there and we're flashing via the S port, so you can see we're, we're using the S port plug into the receiver and into the transmitter. There we go, we're done. And that took a good couple of minutes, so you just have to be patient. And I must say thank you to Brian Bloggs, I think it was, who pointed out that in the previous video where I was showing the effect of uh, using channel 8 when it's in S bus mode, or the the fact that you can't use channel 8 uh, PWM when it's in S bus mode. I actually plugged the servo in upside down, wrong polarity, but it actually has exactly the same effect, effect if you plug it in the correct way, with the signal wire up top. Uh, the servo complains and you have no control over it via uh, PWM. But thanks Brian for pointing that out. 